it had to have happened. It had to. My very first project I decided to do, something that I thought, 45 minutes, in and out, and then hours of editing. Yeah, no. <laughs> something that has legitimately been sitting on my shelf for years. I'm stuck trying to make a hole in a potato masher. I wish I was joking, I've lost two drill bits and a nail. Anyways, so I did promise, I promised all of you, hi mom, that I was going to build something for you. And I was gonna upload it this week. It's important that I do it this week. But because that damn thing over there is not working with me, I've decided I'm going to do something else. I wanna do something fun for my buddy, Jessica. Now, Jessica, she's a pretty cool gal. She can make costumes like, like that. What's really cool about her, she likes pirate stuff. So it just so happened the other day, I was on Thingiverse and I was scrolling through and I found this pirate belt buckle. Now, true, I can 3D print it, I can kind of do stuff with it, paint it up and give it to her and like, I could say, oh, I did a project. But that's not the Monkaboo way. <laughs> I want to give her many different sizes of belt buckles and I want to cast them so she can make as many as she wants. But I'm going to do that for her and I'm going to show you all how I do it. <sighs> I'm excited. I'm more excited about this than that damn thing. Roll the intro. Let's go. Yeah, editing Monica here. Um, no intro this week. Uh, yeah, next time. D -d 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 yeah, next time. Time to make the donuts. I downloaded the STL file from Thingiverse, made some adjustments in Simplify 3D, then uploaded it into my Dremel 3D printer. Four and a half hours later, while I slept, I was able to produce three different sizes of the file. Unfortunately, the smaller the belt buckle, the harder it is to cast. Of course, you would have known that if you followed me on Instagram. There, I show you behind the scenes of my videos, updates on what's happening during the week. Also, I'm going to be traveling to a bunch of great places in the next few weeks, and I get to show you some amazing props and projects that I and others are doing. So, consider following, and of course, the links are down below. Alright, boys and girls, here is a quick and dirty method on making mold boxes for your uh, items. First, you want to take your item. After it's been painted and sanded and treated, uh, find some foam board. I prefer foam board uh, because plastic floats in rubber. You need hot glue to attach it to your board. Now we have to make the walls. And the trick here is use all the hot glue that you have, seriously. Uh, you can take a can of air there, tip it upside down and spray it on the hot glue. It will help the hot glue cool quicker so you can move on with your um, your project. Now, every time I use Smooth On products, I like to take the products out of the box, turn them upside down, and let gravity kind of work with me. Um, by doing that, it helps the material kind of stir itself a little bit while I prep these dump molds. Now, this is your classic dump mold. You find a container that can enclose your part. Um, in this case, I'm using this plastic cup. Uh, safety first kits. Uh, use some hot glue. Again, hot glue, you cannot go wrong. Uh, you glue the cup to the paper plate and then you want to do the outside. You really want to keep that Umu 25 inside your mold. Next, uh, next, what you want to do is we need to stir this material. Now again, this particular kit was sitting on a shelf in my air conditioned home for like, I don't know, six months. So I took the time and I stirred and scraped the inside, the bottom, all around just stir 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 it only takes a couple minutes now this umu product it's one to one ratio so i just kind of eyeballed this I, I think i used about half the material in each uh container uh now again this kit was sitting on a shelf it just so happened that part b did separate a little bit but i ended up taking this humongous uh popsicle stick and just stirred 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 like crazy it came together just fine uh, again fit a one to one ratio poured it in, eyeballed it here, dumped it into the other uh, container and I stirred while scraping and and just, you just gotta get all the way around. Uh, I would recommend wearing gloves because you know, even if you have washed your hands, you still kind of feel a little sticky there for a little bit. Uh, once the color is like a uniform consistency, 
then it's good to go for uh, dumping into your mold. Also a uh, tip here is the higher up you go with your pour, it helps pop the bubbles within the material. Now again, this material does not need to be degassed, so um, by pouring it from high higher up, you can help eliminate a, a good majority of the bubbles. Unfortunately though, um, you can get kind of, your aim could be a little off. Uh, make sure you scrape out that, that, that cup and get all that material because uh, it's rubber. Rubber is not cheap and I really wanted to make sure that I had a thick enough base so the buckle wouldn't warp uh, when, um, when it was inside the mold. So scraping away and just like that boys and girls, that's how you make mold boxes quick and dirty. All right, different angle. Still the same me. So we have our molds. Now we need to put our resin in. This is smooth on, oh, sorry, smooth cast black liquid plastic onyx fast. It means I have about a five minute pot life and it, it goes very, very quickly. So first thing you have to do before you start casting anything is you gotta shake up your bottles. Even if you just bought them or whatever, because they've been sitting on the shelf. So shake it. Okay, so with any any mold that you decide to um, pour resin into, I always strongly recommend you put something underneath. In this case, I have a scrap piece of foam board. I put, um, I have a couple of these disposable uh, plates. I put uh, the second, you know, the smaller mold onto here. Um, and also I have my secondary molds in case I have extra resin, which I may have. Um, so those are kind of like on standby. So I'm gonna put um, part A into one cup, part B into the second cup, and then I'm gonna pour them into the third cup. Stir this up with the leftover chopstick that I have from the other night. Trust me, if you get Chinese food and you have a bunch of these in your junk drawer, they're very, very useful for projects. So I'm gonna pour them in and I got five minutes to not only pour the resin into this mold, but into this one and this one before it heats up in the cup and then it becomes useless. So here we go. I'm going to pour them at the same time. And now I got five minutes to do everything I need to do. in the cup it's going to kick off quicker so definitely definitely want to hurry up I'm not gonna take too much time on this one just because I'm true Ooh, that is hot Focus. That's Jessica. Hi. And look what I made you. Mm. Uh, look too big. Just a big. hair. But will it work though? It'll work. It'll work. It'll All work. right. So that's the 3D model. Dude. And then I casted it, and this is what it looks like. Tell. Can you? Besides the back, can you tell the difference? No. <laughs> that's what you're supposed to do. Okay. So do you know what rubber buff is? I do not. Okay, we're, we're I have gonna, lots of ideas, we're, we're, not that. We're, we're gonna get dirty. All right, camera change. Okay, so these are our models. These are the ones I pulled from the mold. Um, but these, this is rubber. These are basically, it's like a wax 
um, like coloring. So this one is antique white. We're not doing that. Black, very black. We're not gonna put in it, but like these are really great. So you have the um, Grecian gold. We have autumn gold, gold leaf. These are normal gold, I promise. Spanish copper. Uh, ruby, I don't know exactly what that looks like. We can play with that. We have pewter, and we also have an antique gold. So, pirate wise, what do you think? Antique gold? I'm gonna go gold leaf? What do you wanna do? Talk to me. Talk to me. We got it. I have another. I actually have two of them. So we, we have can... lots of them to play with. Yes. What do you wanna play with? Um, Tell me. Do, 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 do. I wanna play with a Spanish copper. <laughs> And that is it, boys and girls. Oh, I learned oh so much this week. Seriously, uh, I don't know how people can do this on a weekly basis, but I learned a lot. I'm sure the process will get smoother as I go along. Have you ever done that before where you found like an STL file and decided to print it, mold it, cast it, and then harass your friend on a Thursday at 10 o'clock at night saying, hey, you wanna play with some rub and buff? And she's like, what did you say to me? I'm like, hey. <laughs> Uh, if so, by all means, uh, leave a comment down below, like, did you use Smooth On? Did you use a different material? What did you make? Um, and uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you to Jessica for constantly inspiring me. Uh, actually, she has inspired me quite a bit with future videos, so stay tuned to that. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Uh, every Sunday is my stream of consciousness video where I discuss uh, pro future projects, projects I've seen people work on and then Friday, well at least that's the goal, Friday will be my build videos. So if you want to tag along on this 90 day adventure, consider hitting that little notification bell so when I upload, YouTube will tell you that I did that. So anyways, thank you so much for tagging along and until then, I'll see you next time.